Hello and welcome to the long-awaited and hopefully much anticipated second episode of speed skilling in old school RuneScape where we gain XP in every skill from a certain starting position. Episode 1 saw us start in Lumbridge and today we are starting in Varrock. Now last time, for those that haven't seen it, I made an exception to use the Fairy Ring without a Draymond Staff because I had the Lumbridge Elite Diary completion. That will no longer be a thing. No more exceptions like that. The only exception we're keeping is the use of stamina potions so we can run everywhere and not have boring scenes where we're just walking and I fail because of my 77 agility. The other new rule is that in addition to not gaining Slayer experience, we'll be not gaining any experience in construction. Depending on where you start, you may be close to a house portal, you may be not. Last time I built a stash unit, which is obviously a one-time thing. Again, too much variation and makes for repetitiveness in the series rather than something unique each time. Right, so starting from Varrock today, this is take number one, believe it or not. I've got some notes next to me of what I want to do and how I want to do it, but I haven't tried it yet. And you know what? First time's a charm. So let's hop right in there. If you enjoy the series, give the video a like or leave me a comment and let me know if I could have improved. I'm sure that's possible. Or if you enjoyed it and what city you want to see next. Uh, and subscribe if you would like to stick around and see more videos like this. Okay, let's get stuck straight into it. I'm going to start my timer, go, and we're going to run north. And I'm going to go straight to the Varrock Palace Guards. And bloody steal out of their pockets because we're going to need some cash and this is obviously thieving done of course he bonks us on the head you absolute dickhead give us your money mate no we just need a little bit more just a little bit more perfect that should be enough 150 GP let's attack this one of course we hit a zero there's attack here's strength Yep, and here's defense. Love that. Let's get out of here. Don't even need to kill him. We'll kill stuff later on for bones. We're going to talk to their lookalike, Tresnor. You know, I like him. He's chosen the life of farming rather than a life of violence. Good on him. Yep, we'll take your rake for 15 GP. Thank you. And we'll rake this tree patch for some farming XP. Perfect. Okay, let's run south now. And let's grab ourselves a bow and a couple of arrows from the range store here. From old, uh, what's his name? Low. From Low. Low prices at Lowe's. Let's grab 10 bronze arrows. That should do us. And run south now. Equip those. And I'm pretty sure there are some men around here that I can murder with these arrows. That's a tramp. There's a man. Hello, champion. Okay, please drop us a herb. Their coins, mate. Unbelievable. We'll go into their little house. Commit some more murder. Uh, probably be quicker if we just punch them to death. More coins? No. Ah, oh, come on. We really need a herb here. This costs us a bit of time. Copper ore. We'll take that in case they drop tin. I'm not sure if they do. Uh, but there's another man spawned outside. We've buried the bones as well. That's pretty rare XP. Oh, give us a herb. Come on now. This is not good. We need a herb. God, it's, we're like four hitting men. Oh, no. No herb. Come on, give us a herb. Give us a herb. Bronze bolts. Oh, that's shocking. Another man. A zero. Do I really have to turn party on to kill men? Oh, my God. Another set of coins. Oh my god, more coins. Please, Herb. Yes, Grimy Taramin. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that, we definitely lost time there. Lost time for sure, but what are you going to do? Shit happens. Let's go and talk to Aubrey to get ourselves a air rune and a mind rune while we're here. Just for good measure, we'll cast... Ah, uh, we'll attack the mugger. There we go, there's some magic XP. Perfect. Alright, magic XP ticked off. We got our Taramin that we worked hard for, for our Herb Lore XP. Let's go into the general store. And use some more of our coins to buy a hammer. And a tinderbox and a bucket. We're also going to go upstairs. 
and grab a knife. Here we go. Oh, open the door. Grab that knife, because we'll need that for fletching. All right, so we've got some key tools to gain XP with later. Uh, now we need to run all the way to Barbarian Village. A bit of a long trek. First, I'm going to fill up my bucket on the fountain here. Because we'll need that. Alright. Going okay so far. Not too shabby. Uh, while we're running around, we are on the lookout for an impling. And we're actually going to have to do two treks here. We'll have to come back for some crafting later. But we're actually going to take this bronze pickaxe that spawns here. Perfect. And now we're going to have to run back to Varrock. And mine two things. One, some clay, which we'll use to get crafting XP. And two, some rune slash pure essence to do our rune crafting with. Let's mine us some clay. Perfect. There's our clay. Let's use our bucket of water on that to obtain soft clay. Love that. Now we're going to run back into Varrock here and talk to Aubrey again and get him to teleport us to the essence mine. Okay, teleport us please, mate. Okay, of course we spawn up the top. That's fine though. Give us some pure essence. Just one will do. There we go. Let's get out of here. And now, unfortunately, we're going to have to run back to Barbarian Village. If there was a different way to do this, please let me know in the comments. Um, I look forward to hearing if anyone has to say anything about it. I'm going to run this way again, hopefully run into an impling of some kind. It's not looking good at all. And we are going to use our soft clay on the potter's wheel here to make an unfired pot. That will give us, there we go, crafting XP, perfect. Don't even have to fire it and finish it off. Okay, we'll continue to run north now, past Edgeville, to the wilderness. Ah, uh, you know what? I've just realized that I did not Fish. I have neglected fishing. Okay, and here we are. We have ran deep into the wilderness to get this very iron bar. As we will need this for our... As we will need this iron bar for our smithing. Now we are running south. And I've just realised that in my plans, I was planning to go and run south to Port Sarum... Uh, before we came up here. And so now when we enter the abyss, uh, not only am I looking for the agility shortcut, no, don't shop tendrils, no, don't burn down, oh, as if the tunnel's like all around here. Here we go. We want to squeeze through this gap for agility XP. This is insane. Get through the gap. Oh my god, that took so long. Okay, thinking on my feet, I'm going to have to go through the air rift so I can run south to Port Sarin from there. Okay, craft rune. There's our rune crafting XP. And we are going to run down to Port Sarin from here in order to get a fly fishing rod and feather. Ah, that's a bit annoying that I stuff that up. Either way, we would have had to run down here. Um, I guess testing in the future. I'll see whether it is faster or not. Maybe one of you would like to try it out. Okay, into the fishing shop. Garant champion. We need a fly fishing rod and a feather. Thank you as we'll be fishing a salmon slash trout on our way back to Varrock. We do... We are still missing, unfortunately, Hunter. And that is a big issue. So I'm really hoping we run into an impling somewhere along here. 
Okay, we're just running to this agility shortcut up here. So we can get agility from there too. Uh, but as I said, I wasn't really planning on having to come back this way in the first place. So we've kind of doubled up on the agility there, but that's okay. Didn't lose too much time in the abyss. Okay, back into Varrock we go now. Let's run this way and hopefully catch some kind of impling floating around here. Because we just need to get into the center. Ah, uh, so grim. Let's just run south a little bit, try and find one. There is a spawn around here somewhere. I always see implings floating around here. Just cows over there. Oh, I don't see anything. Ah, oh, so unfortunate. Okay, let's just run back into Varrock now. What we can do in Varrock is run over to the anvil here in this smithing store. And we can smith ourselves an iron axe. Perfect. Then we can chop down this oak tree here. Oh, I didn't fish. Are you fucking serious? Oh, what have you done, you absolute dickhead? Oh, you fuckwit. What are you doing? You absolute clown. No. All right. We're going to the fishing spot anyway. God, that sucks. Okay, catch a fish. Perfect. Let's chop this tree. Right, start running. Light a fire. Oh my god, light the fire, mate. Cook the tree out. Perfect. While running, we've got some fletching to do. Yep, love that. Javelin shafts, whatever. If I'm not mistaken, though, we have everything except for Hunter. So I need an Impling. Where can I get an Impling? I know there's one down here somewhere. I have to, I just have to find it. Ah, so frustrating. And we have to return to our starting position. Oh, but this is grim if we take forever to find an Impling. No... I've got the impling tracker on too. This is why Hunter is the worst fucking skill of them all. I hate Hunter with a passion. I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate Hunter. Ninja, ninja impling. I don't even think I can catch that barehanded. Are you fucking serious of all the implings? Oh my god, I need 84 Hunter and I don't have it. Oh my god, out of all the fucking Implings. Oh, come here, you young Impling. You little bastard. Get in my fucking basket. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is bullshit. No, I fucked it. Oh. Well, I never claimed to be perfect, did I? I never claimed to be perfect. Oh, look. Literally, while running back the starting position here, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle because... Obviously, if you're watching this, I decided to stick with this take. But I'm debating... Obviously, going take two, where it would be much... Smoother, hopefully, and we find an impling quicker. You know, I don't forget the fishing rod. I, you know, get a herb a bit quicker from the men. And, you know, it turns out to be a great run. You think, oh, this, this bloke's a great speed runner. This is fantastic, but what a cute little idea. But instead, it's just me fucking flailing around looking for an impling. All right, we're about to enter a starting position. Stop. Oh, my God. 18 and a half minutes. Oh... What did we lose? Like five minutes running around for that fucking impling? 
Oh, no. You know what? We're changing the series, baby. I pick a starting location, I make a plan, and I try and gain XP in every skill, except Slayer, except Construction, and we do it in one singular take. If that take works perfectly, we set a new world record, perfect, excellent. Video over, congratulations to me, try and beat that. If exactly what just happened happened, where I completely fucked up over and over again, you know what, we put it in for entertainment value. I hope everyone enjoyed. Tell me what city you're looking forward to next. I'm thinking Falador. Uh, may as well stay local in the free-to-play areas of Gillenor first and move out from there. Tell me if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. Potentially not as many fuck-ups next time. But I still enjoyed my, t my time here. I hope you did too. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you next time.